In the last video, we took a look at how we can get further control over Material X noises inside of Karma. And then the question was asked how we can go about animating these noises. So I figured we would take a look at how we can do that today. So this scene is simple. It's just a sphere with the material library, our camera, our light, and then our render settings. I am on XPU. Not that that really matters. So let's go ahead, dive into our material library, and you can see that this setup is essentially the same thing as we had in the last video. So our position piped into a multiply, and then that is into an add, followed by a material X 3D noise. And then that is all sent to a ramp just to give us some color. So let's take a look at the add node here. Let's go back to frame one. Let's just We'll alt click on the input there just to set a keyframe. And then we'll move forward just a random number of frames and let's start to scrub along here. You can see that we have the noise actually update in our viewport, but we get this error, which indicates that it won't work when we come to render. And it says that we cannot have channels which depend on time, which is, I mean, kind of technically false because Material X gives us the ability to do that and there's also a workaround. So let's take a look at the, the nodes first in Material X, and then we'll look at the workaround. So let's just delete this keyframe, and then we can drop in the first node, which is the Material X frame node. And what this will do is output the frame number that we are currently on. So we're on frame one, so that would output a value of one. But this is gonna be need to be converted into a vector three. So let's go ahead, drop in a material X convert, and we'll wire this in and just send that to our add node. And let's change this from color to vector three, and we are all set. So if I take a look at our timeline and scroll through here, you can see that it is updating our noise giving us something different. We don't have any errors going on, which is what we're looking for. And we are on frame one, so if I just disconnect this node, you can see that with a value of one in here, they are the exact same. Nothing changes. But this moves pretty quick, so if we wanted to slow this down, we could use the material X divide. And if we set this to like 100, you can see as we scroll through here, the noise evolves a lot slower which may be what you're looking for. Now the second node, if we drop in a material X time node, this one also will work off time and this will give us the, basically a time in seconds output of for this value. So this FPS value does not work. It is overridden basically by Houdini settings. If you take a look at the documentation, it says that you can just pretty much ignore this. So. If I go ahead and wire this into our divide, and let's just drop this down to something like five, and I scroll along here, and you can see that we get the same sort of effect going on. We have some movement along the noise, which is what you're gonna be wanting. Now, this doesn't give us a ton of control, so Houdini has our back, and offers us a little bit of a workaround. So let's just disconnect that and we can middle mouse on this input and promote this parameter. Let's go ahead and expose these nodes as well. And let's just call this offset and offset. And what this will allow us to do is if we go back up, let's select our material library. We can come over to our materials, select our material and you see over here, we have this input that says offset. Now, by default, it's set to what we had set, but we can right click on this and click edit property. Now, this will allow us to actually change this and uh, animate it inside of Houdini. So if I alt click on frame one there, let's go ahead and move forward. Let's change this something like seven. Can alt click again. You can see that as I scroll through, we have our noise actually animating. You can see the value is changing in here as well. So a little bit of a different option there if you don't wanna use the Material X noise or the Material X uh, nodes, 
in order to animate your noise, this will give you another option that you can use to animate. And again, if I just scroll in here, you see that we don't have any sort of errors going on and this allows us to achieve what we're looking for. So hopefully that helped you out. I do think I would probably would prefer this method as it gives you a little bit of finer control. You should still be able to use the animation editor and change the animation based on whatever you want. So just gives you a little bit more control over your animation and that's always nice to see. Plus, if you have to do any sort of division and stuff inside of here, it just makes it a little bit more complex, a little bit harder to visualize what's going on without just playing around with the different settings. So hopefully this helped you out. I do have a bunch of other videos on my channel if you wanna learn more about uh, Material X or Karma. I got a bunch on that. Just Houdini in general, I have a ton of stuff on, so make sure to check those out. I also have some stuff on Redshift inside of Houdini if you wanna learn more about that. Take a look at those videos as well. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Thank you.